Hello guys, I am Sudarshan Koirala and welcome back to Data Science Basics. I just completed this Langchain QB deep dive webinar. What a project this is. So what I decided to do is create a video about this particular app. Thank you Stan for creating this awesome QB app. You can see that this is the QB GitHub repo. So how I am going to proceed is in this video, I will explain you what this QB project is all about and i will show you how you can assess this qbit app and in the next video i will show you how you can run this qbit app locally on your computer let's get started okay first thing first what is this qbit app right as it is mentioned here dump all your files and thoughts into your private generative ai second brain and chat with it I have created many videos about chat with documents and all the different things. The concept is exactly the same, but here it is convenient in the UI. So if you click this qb.app, it will take us to the website. I, I'm not going through the repo right now because I will cover this in the next video where we will go through how to install this locally on your computer. But if you click this qb.app, it is going to take us to the website. It says get a second brain with Qbir. Qbir is your second brain in the cloud designed to easily store and retrieve on structured information. Right? You can go through the website here. The main features are two brains is better than one. Store any kind of data. Get a fast and consistent brain. Fast and efficient, secure, and most importantly, it is open source. I was going through this particular webinar and I was taking some notes here. But what I noticed is on GitHub, Bruce NKN has actually created a nice summary out of this webinar. So let's go through this first, right? So here, you can just go through this also by yourself, but I'll just walk you through here. It is the second brain. As I said, dump in your files and chat with it, right? And dog chunking strategy for vector store and LLM. That is how we have been also exploring different things. And currently it is chunking into 500 chunks and there is zero overlap. And the vector store returns four chunks from the similarity search. So that is the top K, right? Open AI is 4K token window. If you want to know what this is, because the open AI models, there are different models in open AI and they accept maximum tokens, right? So this is using GPT 3.5. Here is 4096 tokens. So we cannot pass more tokens than this, right? What next thing here is text splitter based on the file system, more search resource on context awareness. Yeah, this is great part. Which vector DB? Until now, we know that, okay, there is soup, there is this uh, pine cone, there is chroma DB, there is phi CPU uh, or other different kind of things, but it is actually using the super base. Why super base is because the Postgres is free, familiar, fast and efficient for Stan also. And for me also as a machine learning engineer, I find it really fascinating because Postgres is what I am familiar with also. And it is using Postgres and Superbase. I was actually super excited to learn what is Superbase and all the different things. I will explore through this in the next video when we deploy this locally. And the Superbase Python does not support filtering on metadata. They created the customized similarity source and yeah, all the different things you can go through here. They are using the OpenAI embeddings. Palm embeddings are not compatible because as you might have also noticed that the different dimensions of the vector, right? OpenAI has certain dimensions and the Palm embeddings has different dimensions. If the dimensions are different, then we cannot use it together, right? The summarization is improved source efficiency. So what does this summarization mean is that they are taking the good approach of summarizing the context before doing the embedding. And then there is two different embeddings happening at the same time. It is kind of a little bit costly, but to get the proper output from those uh, documents, first they actually do the summarization of the whole document and also embed that. When we do some kind of uh, information retrieval, it's easier and also we get the most out of it. So the prompt engineering part is here and the roadmap is here. I was one thing that that excites me is that about this private GPT. I have created the video earlier 
two videos already you can refer to that private gpt will be the first in two weeks meaning that private gpt is going to be integrated with qubit app we will have good looking ui now of private gpt with qubit app and the summarization and metadata filtering and all the different things and they are also going to support local as i said here private gpt is all about the local models and we can use different models from the private gpt into the qubit app i highly recommend you to go through this webinar to get most out of it and also there is one good article from pine cone about chunking considerations and all the different things the title says here chunking strategies for llm applications this article is gold you have to go through this if you want to know how the chunking works and what are the different strategies the link will be in the description so feel free to go through this okay okay enough of the talk now let's go and see how we can utilize this qubit app and by the way i highly recommend you to follow stan in twitter he has been posting articles or insights about this qubit app as you can see here how the things are working he has explained it step by step so you will get most out of it when using the qubit app okay now i am on the qubit.app and the link is in the github repo once you land here it's actually quite simple there are some of the things mentioned here there is a link for github and for the twitter and up here there is says upload chat and explore and there is the link which i am already logged in and there is this settings icon there is light mode and dark mode we can just keep it the light mode for now but let me go and log out first just to show you that how we can do it right let me log out log out this is how it looks in the beginning right to get started you need to go to this get started icon click this one and it says sign up or sign in right i have already restored i will click this sign in and here i have my email and the password i click login once i am logged in and there is nothing that difficult to just go here right and you have here upload your knowledge you can upload by this dragging and dropping files here and you click the upload and one good part here is you can even provide the url and it will crawl through that url and you can have a chat with that particular things this upload is what you are seeing here the explore is what you can see when you upload something as you can see here i have already uploaded the state of the union.txt paper and if you click this view you can see okay there is number of chunks is zero for some reason there is uh, some issue here but if i refresh the page once again and if i click this view it's still zero sometimes there is a glitch i think between the server and the app but if i see this view also it is still showing zero yeah now it is loading as i said you there is some kind of latency issue here maybe i don't know if it's because of my internet or there is something behind the scene but anyway you can see when i did this scraping of the url what i did here was this part here as you can see here i provided the url and the link is this one and i just said crawl if i just provide the same url again and if i do the crawl as you can see here it is taking some time here to do the crawling right meaning that it is going to go through this particular website this is the website i'm passing from fast.ai let's see what it will say it says that okay this is this has been uploaded successfully let me do the dismiss and if i do this explore now you can see there is just two why because this is the same thing and if the same thing is uploaded twice it is not going to be shown here two times but it is not showing us the error here but it should show it but let me again try with this upload thing here so if i click this upload and now there is state of the union.txt which i have already uploaded right if i click this and say open this is now here and if i do the upload as you can see here it says state of the union txt already exist meaning that you can dump as many things here and it will not allow you to do the duplicate things it should show this particular error message when i did this url also but it didn't went through the 
next process of embedding the things or chunking the things but it didn't give me the error anyway we have two different kind of documents here as i said before if you click this it still says number of chunks is zero let me see if it actually shows here yeah okay it takes some time now there is number of chunks is 20 and instead of the union the file size is provided here and this is the content of the file as you can see here meaning that when we upload this particular document there were 20 chunks being created right now we can go to this chat icon and have a conversation with it so we can just say okay let me just ask the normal question what is the state of the uh, union paper about right it should know and go through that particular chunk because we have two different documents being uploaded let's see what it will answer for us okay the state of the union paper is a speech given by the president of united states to congress as you can see here it gets the information this is really great because you can upload as many things as you want and you can have the answer in a good looking ui here and if you click this settings icon here is the open AI part. You can provide your open AI key. There is this back in URL, super base URL and super base key, which we will go through in the next video. But yeah, that is all shown here. So you can upload the things here and you can even do the crawling from the website. You can have a chat similar to this. And let me also ask the next question. What is fast AI? Now it should go through the next document that we uh, crawled right and it should provide the answer as you can see here fast.ai is a library for deep learning that is built on top of pytorch so yeah it is getting the information that we want yeah it's really good and i hope you will go through this and explore different kind of things that you want to do because you just dump the information here and you can view all the documents here you can even delete these things let's say i don't want this information i can go here and say okay do you really want to delete it yeah delete forever and that's gone and now if i go to the chat and let's say that i i want to have the same question here begin the conversation and answer so what is the state of the union paper about right so there is nothing oh yeah i i removed the wrong one by the way but it should provide the answer for me still okay it provide the answer but if i just say this what is fast ai here it shouldn't provide me the answer because I have deleted that particular document. The given context does not provide any information about fast AI. Therefore, I don't know the answer to this question. Yeah, that's all I want to show you in this particular app. OK, so that's all for this video. And in the next video, I will walk you through this particular repository. As you can see here, it, it has different file compatibility and all the different things. I will walk you through all the different steps here because we are going to use the Supabase and we need to create account. And there are different steps that you need to follow. But if you are completely new also, don't worry. I will just walk you through step by step so that you will have your own second brain locally installed and yeah you can have chat with any documents yeah that's all for this video thank you for watching and see you in the next one